Hello, my name is Jens Haig. I'm a graduate student at University of Idaho, studying the migratory ecology of fish. Imagine fish swimming the distance from Seattle, Washington to Miami, Florida, with a stop off in Chicago to spawn, and yet we only know the smallest amount about when and why and how they make this journey. Two species, known as the Goliath catfish, make this exact journey from the mouth of the Amazon to the foothills of the Andes Mountains. They're a keystone predator, and the only species that requires the entire length of the Amazon basin to complete their life cycle. But the populations are overfished, and a flurry of new dams being constructed in the headwaters threaten to disrupt their migration. Another fish, the sawfish, usually inhabits brackish coastal waters, but makes forays upriver for reasons we really don't understand. Related to sharks and rays, sawfish are one of the world's most critically endangered species, yet scientists know almost nothing about their ecology. The sheer size of the Amazon basin has stymied efforts to understand the migratory movements of fish in the Amazon basin in the past. New tools, however, make it possible to study migrations using information stored in the fish themselves. In catfish, it's their ear bone, called an otolith. In sawfish, the fearsome looking teeth on its nose. Both structures grow in bands, much like a tree. In chemistry, unique to each river that they reside in, are trapped within these rings as they grow. So recovering these chemical clues, we can reconstruct all the movements of fish made during its lifetime. Tommaso, my collaborator, and I have already published a pilot study showing that these techniques are valid in the Amazon. You can download the paper in the links. It's an open access publication through PLOS. But the best science happens when researchers can meet face to face and explore and observe the populations up close. And incredibly, Tommaso and I have conducted all our prior work via Skype. We've never met in person. To complete the next phase of the project, we need to meet in person, explore sampling locations, and meet with fishermen to determine a robust sampling design for the catfish study. Along the way, we'll be collecting sawfish samples when fishermen have them available and building up our current sample set in order to conduct a preliminary analysis. To do this, though, we're asking for your help. If you believe that gathering the data needed to help conserve these two iconic Amazonian species is important, then please donate. Every bit counts. Remember, if our group is in the top three in terms of the number of donors at the end of 30 days, even if those donors only pledged a dollar each, Experiment.com will give $1,500 total to us. So even giving just a dollar might help raise over half the funds we're asking for. It's a win-win for everybody. Thanks in advance for your help. I look forward to sharing our research with you from the planning to the sampling and all the way to publication here on experiment.com. Thanks.